Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, Revan here and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do a, a like animation in Adobe XD. So to give you an impression of what we're going to make, uh, this is the normal state and if you press on the heart, an animation will pop up which will say how many likes you got. So that's what we're going to do. We'll just take a couple of minutes, it's pretty easy, so just let's dive right into it. Alright, so open up Adobe XD, we're going to make an artboard. Uh, we're going to change the size to let's say 400 by 500 so that's what we're going to do all right so the first step uh, where's my artboard no where's my artboard there's my artboard so the first step we're going to do is actually uh, make the normal state so we're going to change the name of the artboard to normal state that's what we're going to do and the first thing which we will need is actually to get the icon well i have a plugin called icons for design and if you just type in at the search bar at heart you will just get all kinds of heart symbols so we're just going to pick the, that one we're going to shove it to the middle and the next step we need is actually put the numbers behind it so we're gonna do that so we're just gonna put uh just a zero at first just to do the alignment so we're just gonna select the number and the heart and just make sure it's in the middle of it the distance i like to do 20 pixels i think that's pretty correct uh, as a font we're gonna use lato uh, size 20 bold but you can do whatever your preference is as a color I'm gonna use like a dark gray not a not a solid black but like a dark gray something like something like that and now we are just gonna type in all the other numbers uh, uh, underneath it so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 and we're gonna make three rows so we're just gonna duplicate it you can press command or control d or hold option or alt and drag it and make sure that like 10 pixels between is okay and we're gonna do it one more time so now you have three rows uh with all the numbers and a heart icon so the next step is actually to make sure that we only see the first row of numbers so what we're gonna do I'm gonna make a rectangle. You can use the shortcut shortcut R, and we're gonna make a rectangle to cover up the first line. That's just all we need. Um, the next step will be to group all the layers. So we're gonna select all three of them and press Command or Control G to group them. We're gonna select the group and the rectangle we just made, which is gonna work as a mask. And now we're gonna mask it. Well, there are two options to do it. First of, it, first of all, you go to object and mask with shape, or you can use the shortcut shift command or control M. So shift command or control M, and here you go. You only got the first one. All right, so we don't need the first two zeros. So we're just gonna delete that one and press enter or return once. So we do have an empty spot over there to make the animation fluent and here we go we got zero likes at the moment the heart at the moment is like solid black i want to change that also to like a, a light gray so we're just gonna choose something like that and this is already first screen done All right so the next step will be to uh, design the animated screen so we're just gonna select this one let's select the entire layer uh artboard sorry press command or control D and now you got two of them so you're gonna change the name to animate state and now with just some simple uh, adjustments you will already have the result you want so first of all the number of likes we got so we are gonna do let's say we're gonna make that to a, a six if you hold shift and drag it then you can just uh, it will stay in place and you can just get to the number just by clicking a couple times and you can just drag him around <clears throat> so we're gonna do like a four and the first one we're going to no i want it to go up let's say a three yeah let's do that so just with your eye you can just uh, align you can you can use some guidelines to make the alignment perfect but with your eye only you can also do a pretty damn good job with it so let's say let's put a seven there you go uh the color of the heart we're gonna change it from gray to like a red 
There we go. And now the only thing left to do is make the two hearts into components, because if you don't uh, transfer the hearts into components, uh, if you don't know what a component is and you have experience in Sketch, it's like the same as a symbol in Sketch. Uh, without this uh, process, the animation won't go fluid. Um, so you can select the first heart, press Command or Control K to make a component or just right click and make component. And we're gonna do the same with the heart over here. So right click and make component or Command or Control K. And now we're gonna do the animation. So select the heart, go to prototype, and then you're just going to link it to the animated state screen. On the top right, you will have some settings. Well, we want the animation to trigger or to happen when we tap on the heart. So we're going to do tap. Uh, the type of animation, we're going to use auto animate. Uh, easing, we will do ease in, ease out. And the duration, we will do around two seconds. So a quick explanation about the settings, uh, the interaction or the trigger. Um, means what needs to happen for the animation to, ha uh, to, yeah, to start. So the trigger, in this case, a tap. The type of animate, uh, what kind of action slash animation do you want? Depending on what you choose here, there will be some sub options. For example, if you use transition, here you go. You will have some, yeah, what, how do you want the transition to happen? So we're gonna choose auto animate. Uh, with the easing, it's like little effect with ease in, ease out. The animation is more smooth and goes from slow to fast and slows down a bit instead of like a constant pace. And the duration, well, that's pretty straightforward. How long do you want the animation to happen? So now if we press the heart, it will animate to this screen, but we also want the animation to go back. So we're gonna press the heart over here and do the same thing. We're gonna drag it to the other screen and the same settings will already apply. So select the first screen, and now we're gonna see the end result. If you press on the play button, you will see this is the normal state, and if you press on the heart, the animation will happen. And here you go. Pretty straightforward. Uh, this is how to make a light counter animation in Adobe XD using the auto animate function. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments section below. I tried to read and answer all of them. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Cheers. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If not, refresh it, give it another chance. Got questions? Just ask them in the comment section below and I will see you in the next video.